Good afternoon, folks. This is Ernest with SuperMoonWeather.com. Uh, today we have a, a big story. The nuclear radiation that we've been hearing about so much in Japan is real, and it's happening right now. Uh, many Japanese radio stations are warning that nuclear radiation is spreading rapidly around the country. It's quite amazing to me, folks, how everyone is downplaying this story and not explaining the pure magnitude of this matter. The instability of the nuclear plants in Japan right now is not only a threat to Japan, folks, but the surrounding countries and even the Pacific coast of the United States. An American nuclear expert says radiation from Japan could spread across the Pacific and reach the U.S. if a complete meltdown occurs um, in, in, in this facility. Nuclear expert Joseph Crencion of the Plowshares Fund says Japan's nuclear crisis is in the critical phase. In other words, folks, they do not have this under control. We need to look between the lines and understand what's going on. In fact, what they're doing right now is they're taking seawater and they're putting it on this reactor, in this reactor, in an effort to, to cool it. Because right now it's overheating like a car engine would. It overheats. But this is not a car engine, folks. This is nuclear power. Now, Crision spoke to Fox News Sunday, and he said that the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant on Japan's northeast coast is the last three um, at risk of this nuclear meltdown. Now, Japan has evacuated civilians from the surrounding areas. Um because they do realize that it is spreading. They're telling people to, to keep their windows shut, keep their doors shut, and do not come out unless it is completely vital that you do. It is completely necessary. And if you do come out, they're warning that you must have on the right gear. You must have on the right protective gear. I guess everyone has radioactive protecting clothing in their closets in Japan, you know, but the whole idea here, folks, is that this is a real threat, and this is happening. This is happening. Don't listen to the rumors that it's all under control. It's not. It's not common protocol to take salt water and pour it on radioactive devices. It's not going to work. It didn't work in the first plant, which already blew up <laughs> in Japan. This is real. This is very, very real, and it's spreading quickly. And this is as per the radio stations in Tokyo. They're claiming that the ra nuclear radiation is spreading already. It's already spreading. <laughs> you know, there's really no other way to, to break that down and to show how real this is and how big of a threat it is. Radiation, folks, it gets in our vegetation. It gets in our water supply. It gets in our food supply. It gets in our milk. Because what happens is our livestock turns around and eats the vegetation that's already exposed to this nuclear um, radiation. Nuclear radiation is no joke. And what we need to do now as a people, the United States lawmakers, need to look at what's happening right now in Japan. We need to look at real security for our country. We need to look at preventative measures that can be taken right now to prevent nuclear radiation from spreading in our very own country. We need to think of plans and think of laws and protocols and measures that can be taken if something similar happens here in the United States. And what's what's crazy about all this, folks, is that this is very real and it's a very possibility. March 19th, 2011, if you haven't heard, is a supermoon. There's many rumors going around that this very supermoon may, may have caused the earthquake and this giant tsunami that hit Japan on the 11th of March 2011. Now, does this mean that we're somehow protected from the supermoon? Does this mean that we're protected from this extreme weather that's been hitting the world? We are not protected, folks. We're not, we're, we're not you know, a super invincible nation. You know, these things are real and they can happen here in the United States. We need to humble ourselves. We need to be for real. And we need to realize that this is a real 
threat and that nuclear radiation can spread here in our country, what are we going to do about it? For more information, please visit supermoonweather.com. Again, that's supermoonweather.com to learn more about this earthquake, learn more about the radiation, and what's going to happen on March 19th if you haven't heard. Thank you.